Pittsburgh scooters have landed at Abilene Christian University and downtown Abilene, and they are already making a difference. We went by ACU earlier today to learn how they are setting a trend. All right, Miss Emerald Cassidy, ACU is setting a trend with these new bird scooters. Tell us how you got these birds to land right here at ACU. Yes, we are the home to 75 bird scooters, and that seems like a lot, but we definitely have a lot of students who are taking advantage of this new opportunity. And it all started when our president of our Student Governments Association, Ty Kelly, introduced the idea after I seen them in DC, and he thought, why not ACU? He brought the idea forward to our administration. They loved it, and they liked the concept of bringing a new way to commute on campus for students. And there is only one other school in the nation that actually has these scooters as well. Which campus is that? The University of Memphis was the first in the country and then ACU is the second and we definitely are taking ride in all of this and it's really easy to use and students are really enjoying having the birds on campus. And some of your interns, uh, they were out there riding these scooters. Yeah. I mean, how do you learn how to ride a scooter? I said, you said you're not going to do it because you don't want to worry about falling off, but how easy is it to ride these? They say it's pretty easy I, after being someone who still has yet to learn how to ride a bike. I'm not sure I'm going to venture on it, but they have a great time. It's simple to start. They do three kicks off the ground and they are off and the scooter takes at least 15 to 20 miles per hour at its fastest. So it is a very easy ride, but it's a fast one and will get you to class if you're running late. And tell us how this works, how you pay and how the students were able to keep these running. Sure. So to unlock the scooters in order for a rider to use it, they do pay a dollar to unlock and they access the scooter through an app. So there is an app through Bird. They open the app, pay the dollar to unlock, and then it is 15 cents a minute to then ride. And then once you're done with your ride, you lock it using your phone it's app. And that's it. It's really simple. And where are these stationed at? There are different nests around campus with each nest holding around, you know, five to ten scooters. Mm -hmm. And you can locate different scooters if they're not in a nest by using the app. There's GPS on each of the scooters, so you're able to locate the one nearest to you. And if you haven't noticed, there are some of these birds that have landed in downtown Abilene, too. What do you think about that? I think that's great. The more that we can get people educated on how to use the birds and also um, for people who are non-bird riders to be looking out for bird scooters on the roads and different sidewalks, um, I think that's the best scenario and we'll get everyone using birds eventually, I hope. Maybe even me. <laughs> We're going to get her on We're a bird. We will. Yeah. <laughs> and what, how does it feel to know ACU is really setting this trend and your students are loving it? It's exciting because we definitely want to create a campus culture here that is adopting a lot of new things, especially technology, even if it is a dockless electric scooter named Bird. And it's very welcoming that a lot of students are just embracing the scooters and you see them going along the Lunsford Foundation Trail on the scooters at night or maybe going from class to a, another building. So we're excited that they've just welcomed the, the scooters here. And any plans to get more of these bird scooters in? We'll see how it goes. We have the contract for three years, and if we see that, that the momentum continues, then it's definitely something that we'll look into adding more scooters to the, to the fleet. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you letting us come out today, and I look forward to seeing you take flight on one of these birds soon. All right. And if you would like to know more about bird scooters, you can go to bird.co or find the app on iTunes or Google Play.